Welcome top news today. Hurricane Nate makes landfall as Category 1 storm. Hurricane Nate made landfall near the mouth of the Mississippi River Saturday evening as a Category 1 storm with maximum winds of 85 miles per hour. As of 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Nate was located about 10 miles south of the mouth of the Mississippi River and about 100 miles south of Biloxi. Miss Nate was a Category 1 storm with maximum winds of 90 miles per hour. Forecasters also said Nate could dump 3 to 6 inches of rain on the region with isolated totals of up to 10 inches. Mississippi's six southernmost counties declared a state of emergency with the state's emergency management director calling Nate the worst hurricane that has impacted Mississippi since Hurricane Katrina. Everyone needs to understand that, Lee Smithson told reporters. This is a significantly dangerous situation. Nate was expected to pass to the east of New Orleans, sparing the city its most ferocious winds and storm surge. Our great team at, at FEMA is prepared for hashtag Hurricane Nate. Everyone in LA, MS, AL, and FL please listen to your local authorities and be safe. Donald J. Trump October 7, 2017 Alabama's Dauphin Island The storm was projected to bring storm surges from 7 to 11 feet near the Alabama-Mississippi state line. Some of the biggest impacts could be at the top of funnel-shaped Mobile Bay. Florida Governor Rick Scott warned residents of the Panhandle to prepare for Nate's impact. Hurricane Nate is expected to bring life-threatening storm surges, strong winds and tornadoes that could reach across the Panhandle, Scott said. The evacuations affect roughly 100,000 residents in the western Panhandle. The Pensacola International Airport announced it will close at 6 p.m. Saturday and remain closed on Sunday. Waterside sections of New Orleans, outside the city's levee system, were under an evacuation order. About 2,000 people were affected. But not everyone was complying. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said he spoke with President Trump on Saturday morning. He assured me that L.A. would have all the assistance we need as we prepare for hashtag Nate, the governor posted on Twitter. The National Hurricane Center said a hurricane warning was in effect from Grand Isle, Louisiana, to the Alabama-Florida border. A hurricane warning was also in effect for metropolitan New Orleans and nearby Lake Pontchartrain. Tropical storm warnings extended west of Grand Isle to Morgan City, Louisiana, and around Lake Moripa and east of the Alabama-Florida border to the Okaloosa-Walton County line in the Florida Panhandle. 